Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Meredith E. Phillips, and today we're gonna to be starting draft three of my Regency romance. If you watched the video from last week, the hodgepodge video, you might have heard me say that I was gonna start draft three the week of the 12th, meaning like I was gonna start on Monday. You didn't, I didn't actually say that though. If you wanna go back and check that video, I'll link it below, but I didn't say that at all. I had definitely planned to start it today, Saturday the 17th. Yeah, <laughs> so I had planned, I had plans to start it, but here's the thing, here's my excuse, okay? The excuses are actually incredibly valid. First, I was still in the middle of reading this, and I was like, oh, I should finish this first, because I was like maybe two thirds of the way through it, and I was like, let me just finish this up. So Monday, I was like, I'm just gonna finish this. So I finished reading it, highly recommend by the way. This is hilarious, but also very informative and helpful. I was so entertained by this entire book. Very much recommend. It's all about how to polish your prose to make it sound better, but not lose your author voice. But then I had also, when I purchased this, I had purchased another book at the same time. And I was like, well, I kind of want to see like what's happening in that book. So I started this one. <laughs> it's a uh, line by line by Claire. Kerwald Cook, I guess. Um, how to improve your own writing. It's um, I was I'm kind of getting interested in like line editing and how to polish up individual sentences so they sound better. This one is good. However, two things. Number one, this one is much more like it reads a little more like a grammar textbook. Uh, it's very dry. <laughs> the information is very clearly presented. And I do really like where she, she'll give like an example of, here's a sentence, here's what's wrong with it, here is how to fix it, which it's good. It's good information. It's just not like the most exciting thing to read. The other thing to note about this, in case you couldn't tell by the cover, is that this came out in I think 1987. 1987, is that correct? 1985, oh my gosh. It looks like it's from the 80s. Just some of how it's written is a little dated, um, but I did find it interesting, of course, 19, mid 80s, personal home computers are becoming like a little more of a thing as are like word processors and um, things like that. And there's a little discussion at the beginning of this about like, are computers going to take our jobs? <laughs> Which I think is so funny because like, we're still talking about that. Is AI going to, you know, make us obsolete? It's not, it's not. But like, that was even a fear back in the 80s when all of that was kind of getting started. So I thought that was interesting. The other thing about this is a lot of the examples that she uses to demonstrate different things are, um, like business example like they're not from novels they're more like this is from a marketing flyer this is from a business proposal it's more like non-fiction kind of writing which is fine like you know the, the concept she's trying to get across is still clear but she doesn't she's only used a very few handful of novel excerpts at this point I'm only on page 32 though so maybe there's more <laughs> I do recommend this it's been good so far and I'm eager to get through the rest of it but if you are like allergic to phrases like dangling participles and gerunds maybe no on this one but i'm i'm i wouldn't say i'm enjoying it but there are a lot of good helpful pieces of information in here that was a really long tangent i did not mean to go into <laughs> I'll link these below if you want to check them out. The other thing in the hodgepodge video really quick is I did announce that I'm going to be starting a Patreon. It's going to launch on Friday, September 6th. I'm really excited and I'm going to give you some little hints uh, over the next couple weeks as to what to expect from the offerings over there. In case you're unfamiliar with Patreon, it's basically a way for people to support creators that they enjoy and typically then the creator provides something in thanks to the people supporting them financially, right? I've thought through a whole bunch of different ideas. Again, if you guys have things that you'd like to see over there, let me know in the comments. I have a couple different tiers at the moment. I've been tweaking them and changing some things. I did decide to utilize the join for free button. Not all creators over there use this, but some of them do and I'm going to. So basically all this is, is it gives you access to view items that the creator has posted 
for free. Patreon is kind of set up almost like a, a little blog where you have different posts that you can post and people can comment on them and all that kind of stuff. And so if you want to have access to the free posts, you can join for free. And your little hint for what will be included there is behind the scenes. That's your hint behind the scenes. I'm excited about it. I'll give you a second hint for today for the actual first tier. Your first tier, the hint is community. So if you have any guesses of what that might entail, let me know in the comments. I'll give you some hints for the next two tiers over the next two weeks. And then uh, hopefully I'll see you over there on Friday, September 6th. Okay, let's actually get started on some work for today. Again, if you watched the hodgepodge video, I kind of went over my plans for draft three and really kind of my plans for the the book as a whole through the end of the year or what I'm hoping to do by the end of the year and so draft three what I'm going to start with is just a reread of draft two and see what I think of the whole thing overall of course I've read all of the various chapters multiple times as I've been revising but I want to read through the whole piece today that was the other thing I was going to say oh my gosh I need notes for this freaking video I want to read through the whole thing today in one go so I can get a good sense of the story overall how it flows the characters the plot points blah 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 see if I notice any like overarching issues with anything major and then we'll get into some other stuff tomorrow hopefully I should be able to finish reading it today but that was actually another reason why I really didn't want to start draft three on Monday is because I like to be able to read it all in one go. I didn't want to read like five chapters on Monday and two chapters on Tuesday and four chapters on Thursday. You know, like I just didn't, I, I like to be able to read it all the way through. And that's the first step for me. So I, I just felt like, and eh, I'll just wait until the weekend when I have a whole day and I can just read the whole thing. So that's the plan for today. I've got it on my iPad. I exported it from Scrivener as a PDF, put it on my iPad. I'm going to head out to the sofa in the living room, get cozy and start reading. Start reading this book that is so incredibly good. Let me let me go ahead and pop out there and get started because I've already wasted uh, almost 10 minutes chatting. Not wasted. Let's let's go start reading. Welcome to my messy living room. <laughs> I'm out here, I've got my stuff. Okay, I've got my draft pulled up here. Ta-da! I'm gonna start reading. I'm gonna reread chapter one for like the 15th time. Let's go. I've gotten through the first five chapters. Um, pretty good, pretty good. I definitely am seeing like a few I would say like relatively minor things to fix up. I'm not sure about the pacing actually in this first couple chapters. There's some portions that it almost seems too slow and other portions that maybe seem too fast? Question mark. So I don't know maybe need to fix that up somehow? I don't know. I'm really not trying to like think through active solutions or anything at this point. I'm just reading it and taking it in. So Let's keep going. We had a little friend wake up who needed to go potty. Yeah, hi. Okay, ready? Let's go potty. I don't know why she woke up. It's uh, 11.30. <laughs> so anyway, we went potty. It was fine. I'm on, what chapter am I on? I'm on page 76 out of 280. Yeah, I'm not sure about the pacing, which I'm really, I'm kind of surprised, I guess. I mean, so chapter 10 is sort of like the 25% mark. Like you're really getting launched into act two. It's basically like the adhesion beat 
where they're not going to be able to ignore each other anymore. They have to work together to accomplish something. And that feels that feels like it almost takes us too long to get to it. But then thinking back over the stuff that happens prior to it, I don't know like what I would cut. Like what could I, how could I speed that up a little bit? I don't know. Don't know, but we'll figure that out later. I'm gonna keep reading. Okay, it's 1240. I'm gonna take a little break for lunch. I'm on chapter 16 out of 35. <laughs> going good, going good. I don't know, I'm like noting little things. Nothing too, nothing too major I don't think yet. I'm excited to get in there and really sort of enhance it. I think it just needs a little like boost of something. <laughs> so let me eat some food. I'm definitely like flagging a little bit. I need something to pep me back up and hopefully food will do the trick. So let me go get something to eat and I will be back to this shortly. Okay, time for a little break. I gotta get Jade's afternoon medicine and then probably Nahan will wanna go outside. So let's do that. Are you ready for your medicine? Oh, you can't even see you in there. There you go. Okay, break over. Um, it's about 2.30. Yeah, about 2.30. <sighs> I feel like I'm reading kind of slow because I'm just tired. I've slept so poorly this whole week. Last night I slept okay. Like I slept through the whole night. What an amazing thing that is but like I was waking up at like random times all pretty much every night earlier this week. So anyway, it's just like, ugh. I have about a hundred pages left in this document. So I'm gonna try to finish that in not too much time. I still need to make a grocery list and go to the grocery store tonight. Fun times. So let me get back to reading and try to knock this out. It's not too much later. It's like three o'clock. Um, I did want to say I am noticing places in my writing where I can tighten up the prose. Um, I think just from reading those two books I talked about earlier, it's not that like the sentences are grammatically incorrect or something. It's just that there's like extraneous phrases or prepositional phrases that don't really need to be there or it could be reworded in a way that sounds better and would be shorter. Ooh, I'm excited I'm excited to do that. I think it'll be a fun exercise hopefully or I'll get really frustrated. I don't know. I am noticing that so just another plug for those books. I'm not I feel like I'm sponsored by those books or something. I'm not. They were they're just really good. Okay back to reading. I've had these windows open because I've been in this room reading. Usually during the day we have them closed because the sun is so warm. <laughs> it gets kind of warm in here, but they're usually closed. Anyway, one of the other reasons they're usually closed is because this dog gets obsessed with whatever he can see outside of them. And if there is any movement, if there's a blade of grass that moves, if there is, God forbid, a person who walks by, he will absolutely lose his mind. So we'll see how long we can sit in here together being a good boy, right? A good boy? <laughs> we'll see. I'm so close to being done. I'm on page 222 out of 280, chapter 28 out of 35, but my iPad is on 5% battery, so I need to go plug it in. Um, I could pull this up on my computer, I guess, and keep reading. So let's go do that. I'm so close to being done. It's, uh, I'm on, what page am I on? I'm on page 253. I've got like 30 pages left, but it's almost quarter to five. I need to stop and do like a grocery list because I gotta go to the grocery store today. I really should be making dinner, you know. Yeah, so I have to stop. <laughs> I'm not gonna get stuff done 
in time. I'm gonna pause this. I'm annoyed I didn't finish it. Maybe I can come back here like after I've come back from the grocery store and finish up these last, it's like, it's literally like 30 pages. So maybe I can finish that here after all of the other evening things and then I'll have finished it in one day but not in one go, which is annoying. It's fine. Yeah, so let me take a little break and I'll be back to this hopefully later tonight. Hey guys, it is the next day. Um, I did finish reading those last 30 pages of right at the end of the day yesterday. It was just like a busy end of the day. Groceries and dinner and dogs and all the things. So anyway, I came back here like for just real quick, finished it up. So when I was finishing it up, my initial thoughts were it's it's missing like something. It feels like it's missing a spark. Feels like it's missing some kind of like punch or like a bigger kind of like impact of some sort. I don't know. It's missing that zing. I was starting to feel kind of down like are the characters not right? Is something wrong with the plot? And I was thinking through the plot elements and I feel like the plot is pretty solid in terms of like first this happens, then this happens, blah, blah, like just the major plot points, right? They all seem to flow together pretty well. The characters seem good for the most part. Definitely could use a little more fleshing out characterization, stuff like that. But like overall, I think they're pretty okay, especially for like a second draft. And I think I was getting down on myself for two reasons. Number one, and I'm so sorry, I'm gonna mention this freaking book again, but I still have business casual in my head. And I was just so, I was just, it, that book was so freaking good. And I want my book to feel like that, not sound like that book, because the voice and the um, genre are very different than what I'm writing but the feeling you get when you read that book that's what I really want to like tap into and my book does not feel like that at this point and so I was kind of like oh like oh <laughs> I want it to be good like that um, and then the other thing is earlier this week I did have to review the book that I currently have that is being queried or whatever uh, or whatever <laughs> the book that is currently querying I had to review it I, and I didn't mean to go in and like start rereading it, but I was, you know, you open the document and then you're just like, oh, I like this scene. Oh. <laughs> so I was rereading portions of that and that one sounds so much more like full. It seems so much more like complete. And I was like, God, what? Like, I just did that last year. I surely have not gotten worse at writing in the year since. And then I was like, Meredith, can you just like chill out? I was, I've been rereading the second draft of a book. The book that's currently being queried is like draft five or six. Business Casual is a published book that has gone through multiple rounds of revision and editing and copy editing and line editing and proofreading by multiple professional people. Like you can't compare them. <laughs> what are you doing to yourself? <laughs> so like back up calm yourself down. It's good for what it is as a draft two. Okay. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We're going to go in, we're going to fix it up and make it better. So yeah, that's my plan for today is to go back in, actually use the Scrivener document, go through each chapter, take some notes, make remarks on what sounds like it needs to be fixed. And that's, that's the plan. This is probably going to take me a little while, maybe like two weeks. Does that sound too much? I don't know. How many times have I done this and I still have no idea how long it's gonna take me? Maybe just a week, maybe two weeks, maybe three. I don't know. Again, my goal, ugh, I'm like looking at the calendar. It's the 18th today. I wanna have this finished by the end of September. Oh, and the other thing I was just remembering, September 26th, September has 30 days. Okay, so the 26th is like basically at the end of the week. It's a Thursday, the Thursday before the final weekend in September. That new Zelda game, the top-down 2D, you play as Princess Zelda, Zelda game, okay? That comes out on the 26th. And you know I'm gonna wanna just play it that whole weekend. So wouldn't it be great if I could finish this third draft before Zelda comes out? I mean, that sounds like a good plan to me. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it that quick. That seems really, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. That seems like a stretch goal to me, but if I could, that would be ideal because I really do plan to take that weekend off and just play Zelda. We'll see how much I can get done before 
September 26th, Zelda Day. I already have my Scrivener document all set up and ready to go. I talked a little bit about that and showed a teeny bit in that hodgepodge video if you wanna go check that out. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I've been sitting here for a few minutes trying to decide what I'm gonna to listen to while I try to do this. And I was going through my little like writer playlist which has all kinds of different things from classical music to lo-fi to ambient tones. And I'm gonna go with the uh, brown noise. That sounds gross. I wish they'd call it something else, but it's brown noise. It's just like a hum of static in the background. So we're going to hope that that helps me concentrate on this. Let's go. Okay, it is a significant amount of time later. Um, it's 10 till 2. I've been working pretty steadily. I've gotten th up to, not completed yet, but up to chapter 7. I feel like I'm going to start jumping back and forth between chapters pretty soon because I'm going to I feel, I know there's stuff coming up later in the story where it's like, oh wait, I needed to do this sooner or mention that earlier, like that kind of thing. So I don't feel like I'm done noting these chapters. I also feel like I'm gonna need to go through this again because I am just like, I feel very fuzzy brained today. I slept okay, but I don't know. I'm just feeling tired. So I, I feel like if I go back through this another time, I'll probably find more things where I'm like, oh, I need to do that this over here sucks let's fix it you know so anyway but i'm making progress so we're doing fine for the moment though i am going to take a break like i said it's almost two o'clock i haven't eaten lunch so that might help that might help the brain to you know process better so let me take a break here for a little minute and then i'll come back here and do some more i've returned from lunch it is 2 20 so i'm gonna try to keep going for some more length amount of time that was not a correct way to say that but that's okay maybe get through chapter 10 which is the end of act one maybe that can be the goal that's like three and a half more chapters let's try to do that and hopefully stay awake man i'm just really dragging okay yeah let's try to get through the end of chapter 10 Okay, one thing I'm noticing as I'm reading through this, I don't feel like I've done this in any other book, so I don't know why I decided this was a great choice to do like every other chapter in this one. I keep having it where like there's a character in a room and then all of a sudden there's someone talking like from the doorway and it's like they looked around to see who it was. <laughs> it's I'm on chapter eight and it's already happened like three times, <laughs> so. We don't need that. We don't need that. It doesn't need to be a surprise. I don't know why I thought it needed to be like this big surprise. Or it'll be like the characters in a room and they hear somebody coming through the front door and then like there's footsteps approaching down the hall or something. I am, I am almost 100% sure like I did not do that but maybe once or twice in previous books. So why am I doing it in like every chapter? Oh my gosh, it's fine. We'll just fix it. We'll just fix it. It's not a big deal. Okay, I've gotten through chapter 10. I, I, I definitely feel like I'm gonna go back through these chapters or bounce back to them when I get to later stuff, like I said. So I don't know if that I'm like finished, finished with one through 10, but like, We've, we've, we've begun the review process, so that's good enough for today. I do think, based on the amount of progress I got today, I do think I should be able to finish at least, at least one like full pass through of the manuscript this week. I might wanna go back afterwards and do more note taking and figuring out stuff, but I should be, I, I'm hoping I can get through at least like one go through this week. There's also a few parts where I'm just sort of noting like, I don't know. I'm noting that there's a problem, but I haven't actually figured out like a solution yet. So I'll, I'll definitely need some time to think through some of that stuff too. But that is gonna be about it for today. I feel like this vlog was kind of short, but I've put out some pretty long videos in recent weeks. So you get a little shorty today. 
Maybe, I don't know how long this is gonna be, but anyway. If you liked the video though, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, you can click the subscribe button. I post videos on Fridays. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye.